Okay, coming back, Django Reinhardt lick number 18 goes a little bit like this. Okay, let's just break that down. So we're starting off here with two hits on the seventh fret of the top eight. Then the first finger is moving up to the eighth fret on the top E. And then the second finger is going to come and grab ten on the B. So far we've got this. Then we're coming back to 7th fret on the top A. And then 9 on the B. So far we've got this. And then back to 7 on the top A. Coming down 10 on the B. Uh, then 10 on the G. Now just to do that I'm playing the... The 10 on the B with the pad of the finger, and then I'm rolling more onto the tip of the second finger onto the G string there. Um, I would recommend that, however, you're fingering this, whether you're using multiple fingers or not, that is the most uh, efficient way of doing it. So we're coming down 7 on the top E, 10 on the B, rolling to 10 on the G, then 7 on the G string. So let's just uh, practice that arpeggio. It's Part of a D minor 6 arpeggio, which we would expect at this point. And you can probably see my finger just rolling across onto the G string. And then, having done that arpeggio, we're coming down 10, 9 on the D string. Then I'm just tucking my second finger into 9 on the G for the half step bend. Let's just run through that. So, from the very beginning. And then, our next note is going to be the ninth fret of the G, but unbent. And I'm actually going to swap fingers. So, I've done the bend with the second finger. Then I'm going to mute that. Um, with my right hand, so I'm just going to put a finger or the plectrum onto the string just to stop it ringing. Let the bend down and replace the second finger with my first finger. Because then we're going to grab 10 on the D, 7 on the D. So we've, from the bend... Again, I'm going to roll with the first finger here from the D string onto the A. Now that's a technique, uh, as I said, I highly recommend. Uh, it gets you out of a huge amount of trouble, uh, stops you trying to cram too many fingers into one fret, and it also uh, makes each note nice and clean and separated. Uh, we don't want any of these notes bleeding through. I'm not, not saying in any means that there are going to be musical situations, and lots of them, where you do want notes to bleed through. It's just in this particular occasion, where we're playing a lot of arpeggios, uh, we want everything nice and clean. So let's just uh, run through what we've got so far. second syncopated hit on that seventh fret of the air. Um, so now nice and slowly with the counting. One, two, one, two, three, four. There we go. Maybe one more time. One, two, a one, two, three, four. That is lick number 18 for Django Reinhardt's Minor Swing. Happy practicing.